Well, one of the guys from the uh, moving crew is here to drop some of his equipment off. And he's going to hide it behind the shop until they get back here tomorrow. But he said that what I've done here, as far as fill and stuff goes, he's happy with that. He said, if I want to just leave it like that, that's good enough. I'm a little bit more particular. I just want to make sure that water is taken care of because that is the enemy. That's good though, that takes a little bit of pressure off of me. I'll get some of this stuff smoothed out a little bit more, especially in the front here, it's kind of a mess. And try to get things packed into the trenches a bit better so I've got less work to do later filling stuff in as it settles. But yay, that makes Armin happy happy. It's pretty exciting. There's his truck there. Ah, I see why he doesn't care too much. He can push dirt around himself if he needs to. Very nice. This is the track machine that they will use to move the house in here. He's got a big ball on the end there that he can hook the trailer up to and basically just move it back wherever he needs to. Just got back from town. I had to run in and sign the contract for getting the trailer moved. I guess the guy trusted us because uh, he's poured concrete and everything with no contract and no money. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty awesome actually. I really like him. I also talked to our electrician and he's going to come out tomorrow after they've set the trailer and uh, we'll look and see what we need to do for electricity. I still need to run conduit inside the shop. At some point running wire fairly soon. With everything else that's going on I still need to get tapped into the water mains here. I still haven't done that so I think I'm going to take the rest of the week off. paid attention to that water line coming up there. I have to dig out a little bit and just get it straightened up so let me get a shovel. Well folks, I've had enough for one day. It has been a little bit insane this week, trying to get stuff done and help out the old owner of the trailer to get that ready. What are you barking at? What are you barking at? Okay, you show me. I think you were barking at the neighbors, little goofballs. They have a gravel driveway too and you can hear their tires crunching on the gravel when they come up. I do believe that's what they were barking about. Alright, time to go home. Shall we get packed up and go home? Oh look at those shiny eyes. Well the guys are hard at work trying to get the trailer out of here. It rained pretty hard last night so it's a little bit wet around but the sun is shining now so it's drying up. They have to put axles under the trailer because there are no axles under there. I'm kind of glad I came out here though because Preston left a bunch of stuff. I needed to pick up the awning anyway, so I got that. Now I've been working inside the trailer getting stuff set up so that it can move without falling down. They got the axles under the trailer. There's three of them there you can see. 
Tell you what though, this trailer needs a good cleaning. Doesn't look like much now, but hey, it'll get us out on the property and I'd be okay to just live in a tent if they'd let us. He's just dragging the trailer over to top all the junk that's underneath there. So. It definitely makes a little bit of noise when it moves, but of course that's because he's going over top of bricks and all kinds of God knows what is under there. Lost the spring. <laughs> that could have actually been dangerous. I'm oh, impressed they got it out. No, you're all good. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely need to take the power washer. This is the side that was against the woods. Definitely going to have to clean that up. Quite frankly, right now, we just need a place to be able to pass inspection and that we can lay our head down in. That's it. This is the least expensive alternative that we've been able to find. the leaves and acorns on the roof of that thing <laughs> oh man yeah it's an ugly duck in ugly duckling right now but that's fine as long as it's a roof over our head that passes inspection all right I gotta jump in my truck and follow
This thing here is what they call a platypus. Uh, it's basically just a motor, a pair of tracks, and some hydraulics. That big orange bar in the middle will lift up when the tracks are on the ground. You can lift up the whole mobile home and move it around with that. That's kind of what I thought they'd have to do. Just taking it around through the field. And then they'll just have to back it in. A lot of pieces of equipment moving around here, so. Yeah, it's a keep dodging moving things. He's definitely using up all the space, that's for sure. <laughs> it's all it's all right. Uh, no, there's no pressure there. You can no cut pressure. it. Go ahead and cut it. Okay. Kind of thought that's what would happen. I left the uh, water pipe a little bit too tall. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's cutting the sewer pipe off. Oh, he just about nailed it. Well, that's quite the hitch there. It moves in and out and I guess back and forth a little bit too so they can get the trailer positioned how they want it.